This week, I turned 19, and my birthday was beautiful. I spent it with people I love in a place that's finally beginning to feel like home. I wanted to make a film about what being 19 means, but I don't really know yet. I can drink in Canada. I can smoke cigarettes in New Jersey. I can use magic outside of Hogwarts. 19 is a liminal age. Every year I have this naive idea on the day before my birthday that I'll somehow wake up the next morning fundamentally different, as if the clock turns another corner and the molecules within me rearrange themselves and I receive my annual upgrade for better and for worse. Each year I think about who I thought I'd be at 16 or 17 or 18 and how I thought that number would feel, but though I mature with each passing year, I only become more aware of my ignorance. As a child, I was sure of myself, but as a person on the brink of adulthood, I think my chief signifier is my uncertainty and indecision about everything. I will never be a child again, and I feel unprepared for adulthood in nearly every way. If I could, I would revert to age 15, not because I was happier or smarter or my life was better, but because of the security I attribute to the memories of this age. Nostalgia is dangerous because as time takes you further from the events you remember, recollection fogs and gaps are easy to fill. Despite how painful the past may have been, it's a place of safety, because the story has already been written. Each year is a step further from certainty, and a step further into the undefined. You don't know what next person you'll fall in love with, the next passion you'll find, the next moment of inspiration you'll experience. You may never feel the way you do right now again, and I don't think this is bad. All moments are transient, and life's unpredictability is what embeds it with beauty. Within this uncertainty lies equal grounds for optimism. It's likely that the best song you'll ever hear, you haven't yet heard. The best thing you'll ever make, you haven't thought of yet. And your most intense moment of happiness hasn't yet happened. Unless you've done Molly. This hope is why we keep going, despite how terrifying it seems to have more years behind you than in front of you. Maybe those years at the end won't be bad. Maybe you'll look back on the life you lived and smile, not because everything went perfectly or even went well, but because you tried your best. Life's transience has always terrified me. I started journaling when I was 10 because I feared forgetting my life. I still journal because I fear forgetting my life. I make photos and books and films just to say, look at what I saw. I was here at least for a little while. The only guarantee in life is change, a law which I fight with an attempt to hold moments captive. Beginning a new trip around the sun makes you wonder what you've done with them all so far and how few you may have left but all is temporary. You quit, you break up, everyone dies, the sun will explode, all the mass in the universe will one day be too far apart to possibly interact with each other. But that doesn't mean beauty doesn't exist right here, right now, today. Everything beautiful is short. And maybe the only reason you turn 19 is to give 18 an ending.